In this video I'm going to show you how to create the profile for a capping for a wall and then to apply it to an existing wall type using the sweep command. So here we have a very basic wall and as you can see the top of it is just a flat surface. So the first thing we need to do is to create the profile of how the wall cap is going to look. Now to do this what we need to do is come up to our main menu and to create a new family. So I'm hovering over the word new, clicking on the word family. Now the type of family template we want to bring in is the metric profile. So you need to scroll down this list, you will find metric profile, double click on that to open it, and you're presented with this type of a arrangement. Now the point where these two lines meet will be the insertion point for the profile. So at this point all we need to do is to go ahead and draw how the wall cap is going to look. We can do that by using the line command. We can do that by using the line command by clicking on the button up here and then down here you literally just sketch the outline. You can zoom in and sketch the outline of how you like the wall cap to look. Now I'm just making up some numbers here. I'm just going to draw a vertical line. Uh, we'll say 180 mil tall. Come out for 30 down for 25 and press modify I want to finish drawing that line there and now I want to continue by drawing uh, an extension to that line so I make sure that I've got my line button up here and I'm going to start it drawing out this way now the wall that I'm using is a 300 mil wide generic wall so for my cap to have some kind of an overhang I need to make this longer than 300 mil so I'm just going to make it 350 give it an upstand of we'll say 110 and then close it back to this point up here and click on modify to finish it so that's just the outline of how this wall cap is going to look it's very basic uh, you may decide to make something a bit more complicated for yourself later on so we need to save that profile somewhere that we can find it later on we can bring it straight into the fa into the project we've got a button up here the option to bring it into the project but it would be more sensible to save it somewhere for later use, uh, maybe on a different project. So I'm going to show you how to save it. Quite straightforward. Come up to the main menu, click on Save, and you are asked where do you want to save it. I'm going to save mine to the desktop. What do you want to call it? Okay, so I'm just going to call this uh, New Wall Capping. And that's it. So I've created it, I've given it a name, and I've saved it in a specific location. I can close that down now and I can go back to my project where I want to actually insert it. And to do this, what I'm going to do is edit the wall type. So click on any one of the walls, come over to our properties dialog box, and select the edit type function. Make sure that your preview is uh, visible. So if your screen looks like this, when you turn it on first, come down to the preview button, click on that. And we need to make sure that we're viewing this in section. Again, the default view may be something like this, where you're looking at it uh, in plan view. We need to change that to section view. What we want to do is to edit the structure of the construction. So you can see a button here for edit. And what we want to do is add a sweep. So click on Sweep. We want to load a profile in. So this is where we now go back to where we saved our profile called New Wall Capping. I saved it on my desktop. So it's here called New Wall Capping. Click on that. Select Open. And Add. Click on the word Default. And now one of the options we should have is New Wall capping. We've loaded it into the project so there it is. So you select on default and from the drop down menu select new wall capping. Where do we want to put it? Well we want to put it f attached to the top so this from option change base to top and we can have a preview now to see how that looks. If we go OK to this we get a look at it here. You can see it's sitting up on top of the wall now. So let's have a look at what that looks like. Click on OK click on OK and we've got the profile of the capping attached to the wall. The 
snag with it at this stage is it's the wrong way around we would actually like the uh, capping to be sloping outwards so it's just attached to the wall um, in a left-handed uh, versus right-handed manner so we go back into edit that so edit type and all we need to do is to switch this to be uh, attached to the inside as opposed to the outside of the wall so come over to our edit structure again come down to sweeps and the side we want to attach it to change that from exterior to interior click on OK click on OK and click on OK to come out of that and the drawing should update and now you can see that the profile has been added to the top of the wall sweep means it's been applied all the way around the wall if you click on modify you'll see that the appearance of it is exactly as we would want it to be now because we've edited a wall type if I select that wall and come up to wall type anytime I use this basic wall type in my project that sweep is going to be added to it so if you have a look here I've created a duplicate uh, square shaped wall and automatically this sweep has been added to that as well I didn't have to add it separately I change the wall type so everywhere that that wall type appears this sweep will appear on top of it.